My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Leather Jam app and a series on YouTube tag 120 days jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and I swear get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 28 of the 120 days to jam mathematics with Flash Isaac. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to change of subject formula. In the previous episode, we agreed that subject formula is a variable, usually at the left, that every other thing equates to. And rearranging the subject formula so that another variable becomes the subject is referred to as change of subject formula. Now, let's look at the first equation here. A is the subject formula. If I say make L subject formula, L, what do you do? You say that A is equals L B. When you are dealing with change of subject formula, there are things that will come to your mind. Whenever multiplication is joining division should come. When addition or subtraction like terms should come when two fractions separated by equality sign cross multiplication should come and to remove square roots we square both sides to remove square we look for the square roots of both sides to remove cube we find the cube roots of both sides all this will make sense to you i'm just mentioning them so that by the time I say them again, or by the time I am applying them, you understand exactly what I am doing. And you will be happy Why I will be happy as well. So, this is A equals LB. And we need L. We need to do everything possible to make sure that L stays alone and is equals every other thing. What do we do? You look at this, what is separating L and B? Because we need L. The thing that is separating L and B is multiplication. And here I said that when multiplication is separating things, division should come to your mind. So, we can divide here by B. We divide here by B. So that A divided by B remains A over B to be equals LB divided by B. So, B divided by B is 1. We are left with L. So, this is equals L. If A over B is equals L, it simply means that L is equals A over B. So, L is the subject formula. If we are making B subject formula from A is equals LB, multiplication is what is dividing them or what is separating them. We simply divide both sides by L so that A over L is equals L divided by L is 1. B remains. Similarly, B is equals A over L. We've changed the subject formula from A to B. And here, we've changed the subject formula from A to L. Let's see the next one. A is equals pi arrow 
speed. If a is equals pi arrow squared, and let's make arrow subject formula. Now you see that this is equation equality sign. We have just one here, one value here, like together. What is separating them is multiplication. We have to divide both sides by pi first. We start small, small, clearing the road, clearing the road until we get what we want. If we start by dividing here by pi, and we divide here by pi, pi divides pi is 1. So we are left with a over pi is equals r squared. If a over pi is equals r squared, it means that r squared is a over pi. Equal equality or equations are different from inequality. For equations, if a is equals b, it means that b is also equals a. However, for inequality, if a is greater than b, b it does not mean that b is greater than a. Instead, b is lesser than a. When you reverse the order of operation in inequality, then the sign will reverse as well. Don't worry, we'll get to that soon. Here, yeah, arrow squared is equals a over pi. Nobody is asking us to make arrow squared the subject formula. We are only told to make arrow the subject formula. So, what do you do? This is squared. And I told you that to remove squared or to remove squared, you must square root both sides of the equation. That is the law. And to remove square roots, you must square both sides. So, to remove this square, you don't need to think. Just square root, square root. Do you know why we do that? If I have square root of arrow squared, this is the same thing as arrow squared raised to the power of 1 over 2. Square root means raised to the power of 1 over 2. Cube root means raised to the power of 1 over 3. So, if this is arrow squared square root, and square root is raised to the power of 1 over 2, it means that this is arrow squared raised to the power of arrow squared times 1 over 2. This is arrow, 2 times 1 is 2, so 2 over 2, this is equals arrow. You will see that square and square root will neutralize, leaving the single value behind. I hope with these few points of mine, you agree with me that to remove square, we square root both sides. And for an equation to be balanced, anything you do to the right hand side, you should do it to the left hand side. Otherwise, you will get a wrong answer. If a is equals 2, then 2a is not equals 2. But if a is equals 2, and you decide to multiply a, a by 2, then 2a should be equals 2. 2 times 2, 4. In that case, you balance the equation once again. So for here, square root comes to square, we are left with r to be equal to the square root of a over pi. You can choose to leave this like this, or you do something like this. From the law of swords, this is root a all over root pi. They are the same. Anyhow, you choose to do that now let's see the next one if f is equals m a if f is equals m a it means that f is subject formula if i'm making a subject formula i say from f is equals m a let me divide both sides by m as i divide both sides by m here, m divided by m, 1. So, force over mass is equals a. And this means that a is equals f over m. What have I done? I have made a subject of the formula. What, I ha what have I done? I have changed the subject of the formula. Now, let's look at the next one. 
The next one is longer, not combined values on both sides. So let's see how to approach this. If you have V is equals U plus A T. First, let's try to make U subject formula. If we are making U subject formula, we do everything possible to take every other thing outside of U so that only U remains. What is separating here and here? Plus. And I said that anytime plus is separating two variables, what should come to your mind is collecting like terms. And like terms in this case simply mean anything that is not you. Because you is what you are looking for. So anything that is not you is <laughs> against you. So you take it to the other side. They are the same. Now look at this. We have V, we have U, and we have AT. AT is a combined variable, combined value. Anytime two values are combined, you move them together. You can't just remove one. No. The only thing you can do to remove one from a multiplied value or combined value is dividing. Apart from division, you cannot just pick A and remove like that. Why am I saying this? If we are collecting like terms, here is V plus u80 everything we have to move this way and if plus 80 moves crosses the equality sign it will definitely become a minus to give us minus 80 is equals u so if v minus 80 is equals u it means that u is equals v minus 80 u is not the subject formula what have we done change of subject formula how about we are making a subject formula or t okay let's make t subject formula in v is equals u plus a t look at it the step we will take in making t subject formula is exactly the step you will take if we are making a subject formula we collect like terms since we are looking for t it means that u automatically is an n millimeter, n millimeter we don't need it around we remove everything we don't want gradually to give space to the thing that we want so what is separating u and a t it is plus collecting of like terms moving to the other side will definitely work so this is v you there is no minus in front of you it means that it is plus and if plus moves to the other side what does it become minus so v minus u is equals a t so we've tried our best to make it simpler but we actually do not need a t we are asked to make t subject formula not a t what do we do the ones we have here what is separating them is multiplication a t is a times t and anytime multiplication is holding two variables or bonding two values and you wish to remove one i told you that division is the only thing that can do that because since yet yeah, these values are being multiplied you cannot pull out one and say let us collect like things or let us move doesn't work that way remember i told you that when it comes to subject formula, we don't do anything illegal. We don't call corner. We follow the rules. So, which means here we have to divide by A so that only T will remain. But you can't just divide by A and leave here behind. No. If you are dividing here by A, everything here will be divided by A. So, everything here must also be divided by A. So, from here, A divided by A is 1. So we are left with T. V minus U over A is equals T. This means T is also V minus U over A. We make T subject formula. You will see that S is equals UT plus 1 over 2 AT squared. Making you subject formula here is 
a very easy something. Making a subject formula here is a very easy something. But a situation where you are making t subject formula, you have one t here and you have t sphere. That is where the problem comes. And this is one of the most difficult questions you will get under set of subject formula. So, with this, we come to the end of this episode. In the next episode, we will start with serious questions, complex questions, or exam standard questions under change of subject formula. From there, we will also answer these questions. Ladies and gentlemen, before then, get the Flash Lesson Jam application and begin to play with questions. Reach out to me if you have any worries or you have issues you need to discuss. Sometimes there are things you can't share with your friend or with your family. You just need somebody you can trust. So you can trust me, I'll guide you. See you in the next episode.